Papa uses cringe. <laughs> Look at this. What the fuck? I don't even know how that's got there. Guys, we're at some crazy coffee place. Just fancied something different. How long has this place been open for, boss man? Uh, it's been a month. One month? Yeah. Nice. Is it a Japanese brand? No. No. We're going to go to Japan next year. We're going to go to the home of Arabica, Arabica HQ, and drink all the coffee. Nitro cascading cold brew paired with and exotic and soluble of fruits finished with a subtle hint of flour. Wow, that is a unique taste. It does not taste like coffee. It tastes uh, like a juice. It's nice and frothy and foamy as well. Oh, that is legit. One of our signature wrinkles, so we call it sandstrom. Oh my god. It looks like so, you've got, got four, it looks like the earth's crust. Yo. That is absolutely delicious. Espresso or martini? <laughs> no, this is, we call it kin. Kin. Kin, our sequence of drinks called kin. <laughs> that, is a, that is a mad taste. Deceivingly heavy tray. Uh, sorry. Uh, you get every this one. Will you be willing to make this every morning? <laughs> absolutely not. You <laughs> do. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Happy birthday to, to you. you. <laughs> It's actually a real person, eh? Why was he so still? <laughs> Why is he so good? <laughs> We're gonna see uh, good friend Jules, aka the tutorial shooter. He's uh, opened up a suit tailor shop and also turned it into a bit of a man cave slash hangout for the boys. So we're gonna see it now and maybe even get ourselves a cheeky little suit. Yo, Mike, this is for you. <laughs> Imagine these are not cheap. They're not really meant to be driven. They're just meant to be like looked after. And then you just show off to your pals that you've got really old Ferrari. They're in very good condition though. He absolutely loves customizing his cars. His favorite color is green. Hello. Mike, how are you, brother? Very good, how are you? You're not getting anything smaller, mate. <laughs> good to see you, good to see you. <laughs> very, to see very, very impressed. It's, uh, it's fun, mate. It's a bit different. A bit yeah. of a different concept. Was it a smooth process opening it? Or was it it was, to be honest, yeah. This is a pure passion project, man. It's just fun, yeah. absolute fun. You'll never it? see this man not wearing a suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so if we step over here, excuse the fact that we're still, you know, in, in production, so to speak. Usually, like the conventional knowledge when you go to the tailors is get yourself the grey suit and the navy suit. So, the standard suits that people get will be a navy suit like this. You see, there's a it's a woolen blend with a little bit of sheen to it, and a grey suit. That's that's the standard every man must have. Mm -hmm. The problem is nowadays, unless you're a banker or a lawyer, when are you going to use it? When are you going to wear it? It doesn't give you an energetic boost to dress like that. So why would you do it? Mm -hmm. What we promote here is jackets. The idea of jackets and pants. Now. Over there are all the different colors of pants, up on the wall to the right. So you see a huge selection of different pant colors. Now we have stretch fabric, so they're as comfortable as pajamas. That's, that's by yeah, design. Yeah, I most definitely would need that. Yeah, you know, yeah, <laughs> I mean, with your quads, you're not fitting in normal pants for sure. And for now, it's about jackets. When you dress like this, it's like you're going to the office, right? Mm -hmm. When you dress like this, if you do it right, you're the man who owns the office. Very different level of projection of value. And it's a lot more fun as well. You can get sick of suits. I don't wear my suits anymore. I have a good, maybe 70 jackets. I'm yet to get sick of them, and I still see new jackets I want every day. Jackets are the fun, that's where you get to play. You can mix and match as well, can't you? 100%, you can do really loud shirts. I've got some ideas for you, actually, if you really want to turn it up, we can do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to go hard, hard. But we need, <laughs> need to talk about your personal branding. So the jackets I recommend every man has, have is that you need a cream jacket, standard cream jacket like this. Incredibly versatile, especially in Dubai. Mm -hmm. And you can do uh, uh, partially lined or unlined, so it's most breathable. That's how you get around the warm weather. Uh, from there, the navy. This is the single most versatile blazer. You can wear this with dressed denim. You can wear this with beige pants and be business appropriate or white pants be stepping off a yacht. Very much the, the standard. So the cream and the navy are the places where a man should start for jackets. Actually, you're a fun guy. 
You do something like that. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a bit different. The thing is, nobody would really know unless they get close. That's the idea, yeah. Here we have workshop area. So again, most tailors, because it's expensive to house a workshop in, in, you know, in a shop front location, their workshops on the other side of town. We have it here. So again, you talked about you want the right fitting. Come in here, say what you want changed, sit down, have a coffee, it's done straight away. Walk out with it done. No other tailors in the bike can do that. So that's part of the value proposition. You underestimated how much you know about all of this. What I was not aware. My origin story, I grew up really rough. Yeah. Um, like welfare housing, all these sorts of things. And, and it was always wearing secondhand clothing. I remember getting teased about the smell of secondhand clothing. So naturally I got a chip on my shoulder. But I've turned that insecurity, that chip on the shoulder to something productive. For the longest of time, I wanted to know how to dress like those rich people who I'd see in the movies. And now, I'm the lover, you know, we're theirs. <laughs> That's why I'm so passionate about it. As Tate talks about it, right? When you're a young man, if you're angry about something, use that anger to improve. And, and for me, dressing well is, is a symbol of progress in life. It's a lot, more, a lot more than just clothes. That's why I love it. And it's fun here, when I'm doing this process with someone, I don't have to sell anything. I genuinely get excited for, for what we build. Like, it, it's good fun, you know? <laughs> I am Taylor's nightmare. The problem with my quads is like, I, when, I can go and train legs and there'll be an extra couple centimeters more circumference older. around the thigh. 20 is older. 47. 47. 47. So I just got measured up and they told me that I'm actually too jacked to wear suits, so that was a waste of time. Only kidding! I'm gonna come back, I think, next week, maybe 10 days, for them to put the first trial on me and check it out. And I'm actually extremely excited to see what they look like because they are most certainly some wavy combinations. And uh, I'm sure it's not gonna be the last I get from this place, so go check them out. Custom made reality, al Dubai, place to be. Now, it's time to head off to the desert. In the middle of nowhere, we are shooting new campaign for the Thirst. Active wear is coming on strong. Black Friday coming in a couple of weeks. So we picked a pretty sweet location. We've got an absolutely wild 4x4. What's this called, boss man? Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Maverick X D S. Brand new turbo double R basically a Rolls Royce and uh, we're going to be shooting some mad content inside of it. it. Takes me back to the last time I shot in the desert wearing all black. So not, not pleasant. That's not that bad compared to how bad it's been. Excuse me, we've got a photo shoot here. I can't believe he's just come here and just stood there. Yeah. Just... Hey, come on, but he said you can go away. Oh, damn it. Like, what do they need? need? We just grab his tail, pull him back. For everyone who's in the Northern Hemisphere, going into a really cold winter, this is going to be perfect for you. However, for everyone who's in Dubai, probably wouldn't buy this. <laughs> you know, local people do wear hoodies. Okay. Well, actually, to be fair, in January, it is actually nippy on an evening, and it would come in handy. It is a sick hoodie. The quality and the thickness. Lit! Look at these guys! Mikey stayed there, because he's no help. Eating ice cream on a shoot. Shake it like in that Taylor Swift song. Big man. I want ice cream eating, dude. How Popeye, how spinach. I have ice cream. Something always happens. I don't think I've ever come to the desert and then not be a problem. What if I just pulled it with one arm? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. that's Oh, he's really coming here. You want to take a picture with Falcon? <laughs> <laughs> See you guys, this is Dubai. Whatever you need, come to you. Ready for a... <laughs> what a fucking autistic man you are. Let me just change. Male or female? Yeah, male. Oh yeah. Let's 
Francisco. Last time he drove one of these, he flipped it. So let's see how we go. Take two. We're in good hands. <laughs> so much. Look at this. What the fuck? I don't even know how that's got there. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's in good hands though. There's a few sketchy moments, but we made it. We didn't flip it. We're all in one piece, that's all that matters. <laughs> What's next? Next. Well, I'm gonna have a two hour shower to get every single grain of sand off my body. Then we're gonna dress in some ridiculous outfit because it is the 31st of October. Halloween, there's an absolutely massive villa party going down in Alberari. So See you at the party. Gained access to VIP. So we're back in the apartment. I had to leave early because it was far too much haram for my liking, even though it was a bit of a spectacle. Like, the guy threw a friggin' festival in his back garden. Uh, it was a little bit weird. It wasn't quite for me. But that's what I'm doing these days. I will show my face at these events, but I'll not be getting too stuck in, and I won't be drinking either. I didn't have one single drop of alcohol. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. Who's not gonna feel like trash tomorrow? I'm not gonna feel like trash tomorrow. By the way, does anyone even know what I am? Anybody? <coughs> I'm an Egyptian pharaoh. Pharaoh? Pharaoh. Pharaoh airport. In other news, podcast is well underway. Season two. First episode with Iman, which was launched a week ago, is available, streaming on all platforms. And I just released a new episode with Reese Wabara, the CEO of Manier de Voix, which is a pretty big time company. And that was a great three hour interview where he dropped lots of gems so go check that out on my other channel first things first and i'm going to be leaving you guys because it's time for bed adios see you later oh, i was meant to go ahead <laughs> <laughs>